Hey guys, Raphael here, uh, amigos, Rafael. Um, a friend of mine asked me if I can demonstrate how to paint uh, a Red Hulk into a Green Hulk. O sea, me pidieron que demostrara cómo pintar un, un Hulk uh, rojo, este, verde. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate on this guy, just the chest part. Uh, I'm going to paint him red first, so you know we can imagine that he came red. Voy a pintarlo rojo primero para demostrar, como, bueno, como si llegó ya rojo. Y luego lo vamos a convertir en verde. Okay, so let's say, now this is the Red Hulk. That's what I got. Vamos a poner que eso es lo que me llegó. The Red Hulk, and I want him green. Y lo quiero verde. Uh, first, uh, I would clean him up with some 99% uh, alcohol very quickly. You don't want to take off the whole paint, but you could if you want. Um, se, lo limpiaría con alcohol, 99% de alcohol. Uh, pero no quitarle la pintura, nada más, nada más limpiarlo. Uh, o le pueden quitar toda la pintura si quieren, como quieran. Um, and I would just primer him. I would just use any primer. I'm, I'm using this guy here. Um, what I also would like to uh, do sometimes, which I would prefer, is I use the auto body high build primer surface. By doing and using this, any fine scratches, this will cover. Also, if you missed it from far, you can create little textures of skin to it. So this would be the best way to go. But right now, just the uh, paint demo. Uh, yo uso a veces este desde carros, uh, que tapa bastantes cosas como los, ra, la, los mínimos rasguños, o como se diga. También si lo, si lo esprillan así nada más uh, de lejecitos, puede crear un poco de textura en la piel. Pero por el momento nada más voy a usar el, el uh, primer este, gris, uh, nada más para demostrar la pintura now I'm going to start off with the base and just regular uh, emerald green FW acrylics uh, voy a empezar con este verde um, you know some people start off with yellow and then undertone and then they add the greens and get all these tones in there which is which is cool um, uh, otros empiezan con amarillos y todo eso, pero yo voy a empezar nada más con la piel. Uh, so I'll just start off with the regular base. Now as you can see, by having the gray uh, primer and you added that bright green, a pesar de que era el verde muy, muy este verde, con lo gris del primer ayuda a que no sea tan llamativo. And, you know, it helps that it's not as bright. Now, if I continue adding the green, it will be very bright green like the bottle. But so this gives it a nice tone. Now, many out there do tend to just do your base coat and your shadows. Um, muchos a veces nada más ponen sus pinturas, uh, la base y las sombras. Y otros diferentes colores también. And they also go in with other different colors in, in, in there. But yet it's still your normal uh, base and shading. Uh, so, you know, for example, let's say I just wanted to do that. Vamos a poner que nada más lo quería así. And, you know, to make it fast and quick and, and still kind of effective, you just add the shading. Nada más le ponen las sombras. And I'm using a charcoal um, transparent uh, paint. Ahorita estoy usando como un, un, un color este cafecito. Perdón. Negro pero transparente. La pintura. Now, as you can see, that looks pretty cool already. Como ven, ya así se ve, you know, no se ve tan mal. You have your shading, you have your color. Um, and many people tend to just do that. Uh, and you know, then sometimes you can get some yellowish and do some highlights. Con un poquito de amarillo, para darle un poco de, de, de más colores. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but you know, you have a little bit of yellow into the skin tone. And you know, it gives a different look. It's a different uh, which is which is okay. Um, I personally like to give, even if they're just small statues, I like to give it the, uh, a more realism look to them. So yes, it's a lot more work 
and more to it, but you know, it, I think it, it looks a lot better. Um, yo prefiero, aunque sea pequeño el, 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 el personaje, uh, me gusta darle más textura a la pintura con, y es más trabajo, pero se ve mucho mejor. Now, I am also going in with the blue, very lightly. También con el azul, estoy haciendo lo mismo. I'm gonna go with some spatter. So you just get, you know, these are like almost liquidy paints. Uh, la pintura ya casi está como, como agua, un poquito. Y voy a hacer este puros puntitos with a brush. Uh, I may not need all these colors, but I'm just gonna use them and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm experimenting. I know people do different things, but uh, let's just try to do the same kind of technique I use for regular skin. And we'll go from there. Vamos a hacer la misma técnica que uso para pieles normales. Pero ya de ahí vamos a ver qué pasa. So, you know, again, you got your white, brown, dark brown, green, yellow, uh, red, and blue, as you can see here in purple. So, a little tiny. Let's start with the, let's start with the, the red. Vamos a empezar con el rojo. Going with some purple, un poquito de morado. Put the yellow, poquito amarillo. If it's too big, just dab it off con, with your fingers. Si está muy grande los puntitos, además se lo quitan con el dedo. A bit of browns. Darker brown, color más oscuro. Some white, poquito de blanco. Just dab it off. Más se le quita un poquito. And let's do a little bit of the darker olive green. El verde. Este más oscura, olivo, I guess. Now we are going back with the first green. Vamos a regresar con el primer verde. And just missed them a bit. And now we are going back with the uh, olive green. Con el olivo. Olivo. Eh, verde. And uh, missed them again. And with the same one, we can just go darker to shade in certain areas. Con el mismo, hacemos unas cuantas sombras. And you can go in with a little bit of highlight, a little bit of yellow, not too much. Un poquito de amarillo para que resalten ciertas partes. I'm going in with a little darker shading, un poquito de sombra más oscuro. And I'm actually using a violet or purple color. Okay guys, so here he is. Uh, again, you don't have to go this dark in the green. You can always go lighter. It's up to you. But if you do use the technique uh, that I showed you, I mean, you can have more, I guess, of an organic look than just your typical shading and uh, basin shading. Uh, again, it's up to you, whatever you guys want. Uh, on video, I'm noticing that you see a lot of like, like yellow stands out, but in person you don't really see it. It, it actually uh, blends in pretty nicely. En el video se nota como que se ven las manchas amarillas, pero en persona se ve uh, muy natural la pintura. Um, again, so, hope you learned something, guys. Um, and also, uh, you know, if you spray it with Dolling spray, it will make it look more, uh, you know, realistic because uh, it takes the shine away. Uh, I just don't have that spray. Si lo sprayan con uh, un lacquer este, que quita el brillo, se vería mucho más real. Uh, I tried the uh, testers one and that didn't do the job. Uh, anyway, 
Okay, guys. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.